Hey and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Nino Justino and today I'm going to show you how to be lean. So before we get started I want to show you a really cool technique that I found in the design circle as well and this is the, a technique that I use to mask elements. What do I mean with masking? Masking means that I can cut out an element and put an image behind it so it looks like it's on top of the image. So let me show you how to do it and how you can do it as well. So let's start with the leaf element. Let's go to elements and type in fall and then leaf. And we're gonna look in graphics and you're gonna look for a leaf that can represent your design the best okay so i like this design so i will click on it and once you click on one of the designs or one of the elements you will find below the element you will find magic recommendations so let's click on see all and choose a design that we would love to use in our design so this one let me remove it we're not going to use it and i like this design and we're going to look for two things First, you gotta look for a design that you that you want to use in your design that, that you think that fits your outcome. And next, you gotta look for a design that has at least two to three colors, okay? Because we want to change the colors to create the masking effect. I'm gonna show you what I mean with it. So, this is a design. This is an, an element, a leaf element with three colors. We can change the colors. We want to change the colors to white. So let's go ahead and do that. Change all the colors to white. First the first two, because we're gonna duplicate this layer. Let me just duplicate it and put it here. And the reason I do this is because we're gonna use a leaf. And after that, we're gonna use the branches to make it more realistic. Let me show you how that looks. So this is the first image. And this is the second image. So this is the first mask and this is going to be the leaf. And we're going to click on this orange one and make it white because we want this leaf to be completely white. And this branch, we want it to be black. Okay, so now we have two images uh, on two blank canvases. Now what we're going to do is we want to cut out the white. So every time you use the Canva uh, remove the background remover it's going to remove all the white so what you want to do is you want to create a workaround to remove the white and leave the things that you want to use in your designs so for this example we want to use the leaf so let's go to the leaf this is the leaf it's white on white so you don't see it right now but what we're going to do right now is there's a workaround so what you're going to do is you're going to look for an organic shape to put behind your leaf. So you're going to look for organic abstract shape. This is the one you're going to be looking for. And it's the first one that appears. It's a gray element. This is the only workaround that I found also in the design circle group that works to get your image cut out. Okay. So just follow the process and do exactly as I say. So we're going to grab this element and we're going to put it here gonna just fill out all the blank canvas and we're gonna position it backwards behind the leaf so now that it's behind the leaf we're gonna put the leaf in the middle like this let me just put it here and we're gonna change the color of the shape we're gonna change it to a brownish color let me go to this color like a brownish skin color so let me just put it here like this and this should do it. So now we have a leaf put on top of an organic shape, an organic abstract shape and the color is brown. I always use brown because somehow the computer of Canva, so the, the recognition system of Canva recognizes the brown to get removed. So that's an important part. Always use a brown color and not black. I use black and black just it makes it a little bit strange so use brown okay so now that we have the brown color what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the white from the image but we gotta download this as an image first okay before we do that let's also 
do it with this image so this these are the branches and i just told you that we're going to use the leaf and on top of that we're going to put the branches to make it more realistic the thing with the branches is you don't have to cut it out the leaf we got it cut out but the branches we just need the branches it doesn't have to be a mask so what we're going to do with the branches is different from the leaf we just have to download it as an image and cut out the white background and because the branch is already black and the background is white it's easily to be removed so let's download both of the images so we can use them and upload them into canva so we can create the leaf that we want okay let's go ahead and do that so let me just open a new page here and grab the image that we just created i'm gonna move it all the way over the blank canvas and I'm going to create another one and I'm going to do the same with the branches just move them all the way across the blank canvas so one thing that happens with Canva is it likes to put an image if you totally put it over the blank canvas it will use it as a background I don't like this so I'm going to change the way I set it up let me show you how let me just detach it from the background and I'm going to go all the way to the corners and then I'm going to use a little bit of trick to just move it inwards. I just move it a little bit inwards so it doesn't become the image background. Okay. Now that I have it like this, I'm going to do the same with this image, detach from the background and all the way to the corners and just use the bottom and top a little bit move it down and up just to make it detached from the background okay awesome let's continue so now that we have our first image we're going to create a mask what you got to do is you're going to click on the image you're going to go to effects and we're going to remove the background click on apply and now that the background is removed we got an image we got an image with a background with a white uh, background but the white all the white is gone so let me just show you real quick how that looks let me go to elements let me go grab a photo let me just grab a photo that i'm going to use for this tutorial i'm going to use a face i want to put a face on the on the leaf so let me just go to photos scroll down look for a good face and I always try to find a face that is dark. So not dark in skin, but the, the image has to be dark. Because if you use too many white, too many light colors, it might get up caught in the process of deleting the background. So you want it to be as dark as possible, a lot of colors as possible. So this is a good image, the black one. Let me just grab it and turn it a little bit because the leaf is also a little bit turned and let me position it backward you will see what happens you see it becomes it becomes the leaf so now it is the leaf and it looks like it's on top of the leaf but the colors are not good yet we're going to change that as well follow me so now that we have our image set up let me just remove it because we don't need it at the moment we're going to use it again in a second but what i want to do is click on this image and we're going to go to adjust and you want to move the brightness all the way up because we want to make the abstract shape we want to make it the same color as the background color okay we want to make it completely white now i'm going to go to contrast also move it all the way up to 100. it's a little bit yellowish right now so we're going to change it a little bit more we're going to go to saturation i'm going to move it all the way down minus 100. now that we have our color set up if you look closely, you will see that the background color is not the same as the abstract shape color. If you look at the abstract shape color, if you look closely, you see that it's a little bit of off white. It's a little bit of gray, grayish. So we want to have the same color as the background color. So we're going to, I'm going to click on the background and I'm going to change the color of the background. I'm going to change it to the same color as the abstract color and I'm using this color picker okay 
I'm gonna go hover over the abstract color and click on it. Now everything is the same color and the leaf is cut out in the middle. So let me show you how that looks like. So now let's go back to the image again. Let's turn the image a little bit, tilt it a little bit sideways and position it backwards. Now you have your image on top of the leaf. What we now want to do is we want to remove all the extra image that you have around the abstract layer. Okay, so let me just go ahead and do that. And the simplest way to do that is to use another element. Let me just go to elements and I'm going to use the square element. I'm going to just tilt it a little bit and put it over all the other images that I want to remove like this. And I'm going to make it the same color as the background color. Okay. And I'm going to do that with the other parts as well. So I'm going to do control C and then control V to copy what I just created. And I'm going to turn it around and put it over here. Okay. And I'm going to do the same with the other parts. I'm going to pause the video right here because I'm going to fill out the complete image and make it completely white. Just that there's only one leaf in the middle. Okay, now we are left with just a leaf, a face and a white background. Okay, this is all we need and this is all we're going to use for the next step. So what we want to do right now is the following. What I like to do also with the images is I would like to make them a little bit more crunchy because now it's, it's a very clear and crispy image. That's okay. You can use that. But what I like to do is let me just remove one of the layers here so I can grab the image behind. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to get the image right away. So let me just move this a little bit down. This is, this is the, this is the top layer. This is the organic layer, the organic shape layer that I'm moving down a little bit right now. So I can grab this image. Once I select this image, I'm going to go to adjust. And what I like to do is make it a little bit more grungy. I want to, I want the image to pop out a little bit. Okay. So let me show you how to do that. Instead of using blur, instead of going up with the blur, I'm going to go down. I'm going to all going to go all the way down until it's very, very grungy, very, it pops out. Okay. So this is what I want. I do that with all my images that I want to give a little bit of unrealistic touch. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and put back the layer that I just removed. So control C, control V. I'm going to put it back on its place. So we can cut this image out because now we have the leaf in the middle and we want to cut it out so we can use it as a single element. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to download this image again and we're going to re upload it to Canva. So we have the single layer of leaf. Okay. Let me just download it. So now that you re uploaded the image to Canva, we're going to remove the background. So we have a single leaf element. Let me show you how that works. So let me just add another canvas and upload the image that we just downloaded and just move it all across the canvas. And now we have this image. Okay. Let me cut it a little bit inside like I always do. And what I want to do now is go to effects and remove the background. Click on apply. And now you have a single leaf that you can move around as you wish. Okay. So now the second part is we're going to add the branches to make it look more realistic. Let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go down and this is the image that we already had. Okay. This was, this was the single branch and we also cut out the background. So what we're going to do with this image is let me just control C and control V to put it here. 
what we're going to do with this image is let me go to effects and remove the background as well because we don't need any background we just want the branches click on apply and now that we have the branches we're going to turn it over and put it on top of the leaf just in the correct position okay now it looks more realistic okay you have a leaf with an image on top and the branches are showing you can even play with the branches you can change some uh, coloring you can use some brightness you can make it a little bit more grungy as you wish what i like to add right now is a little bit more texture so let's use the keyword noise and look for graphics scroll down see what we can find i think yeah this is a good one so you're gonna put this noise texture all over your leaf design and you're gonna make it the same color as the background and now you have the design ready you have your leaf with a design on it and it looks pretty cool and you can use it as you wish there you go that was the belief tutorial go ahead and create your own i want to thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you want to learn more about me and how i can take your designs to the next level i have a group that you can join and i also have an online program that you can join and i can teach you anything that you want to become a next level canva designer Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.